56% of people who try to stop antidepressants suffer from withdrawal. More than half. More than half of those describe that withdrawal as severe. And get this, 40% are still struggling with withdrawal symptoms two years later. Not two weeks, two years. Yet most psychiatrists still say that withdrawal is rare, less than 15%. The research shows they're massively underestimating. Patients get told that it's just discontinuation syndrome that will last a few weeks, or that returning symptoms prove that you need the medication. Translation, your withdrawal proves your dependence, just stay on the drug. That's medical gaslighting, and I'm not here for it. I've supported hundreds of people through medication tapers with confidence and control. And I'm telling you, it is possible to have a withdrawal-free taper. You just need to support your brain, body, and biochemistry first. So there's a prep phase, and then there's the neurochemical support, and then you're able to spread your wings and fly. Withdrawal symptoms are real when you don't have the right support. You need to have a prep phase before you start your taper, a neurochemical support phase, and then only then will you be able to truly spread your wings and fly.